Hi everyone, welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How you guys doing today? So today I am working with some, um, I think they're eight inches, I'll double check, uh, round wood plaques. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby for like $3 and I'm trying to figure out a way to possibly turn them into clocks. Um, they're kind of thick though, so there's like this thing that you put on the back to make the clock obviously turn um, and it's kind of bulky so I'm gonna look into possibly turning this into a piece of functional art which is this series that I'm doing right now um, and being able to turn into a clock so that's not gonna be completed on this video it's just the painting of it because um, I have to look into the process of what happens what to make in order to make it a clock um, okay so anyway um, I did this painting um last night and i was goofing around in the garage just mixing paint i wasn't planning on doing a painting at all and just the process of mixing paint makes me like really see the pigments and and anyway i just was i couldn't help myself i was like you know what i'm gonna do one right now and it was like one o'clock in the morning i had the radio jamming and I had a couple glasses of wine in me and um i thought you know what so i'm gonna have to talk through it for you um just to tell you you know what the colors are and you know i'll do a little chatting so anyway not to make this intro real long just wanted to tell you about it and say hi and let's get down to the painting last night okay so this is the pouring medium that i'm making there is the glidden premium base three and i threw in some josonia gloss varnish give that a good mix and just wanted to show you guys um how i make my color art pigments there's some two paint uh, doing it in high speed you don't need to waste everybody's time watching mixing paint <laughs> But um, there's some jasmine, ginger, peach, and some sunflower. Never have enough of those three colors. I use them, I think, all the time. One of these days, I'm going to get some new colors. But I just have so many already that I, that I still love. And that's really all there is to it, mixing the colors. Okay, so there's the pillow paint. That's the Glidden Essentials, which I have um, put away for now. I'm not sure something's been causing my paintings to crack a little bit, and um, I'm not sure if that's the issue. So I wasn't happy with the first one, and so I decided to start all over again. And it seemed like I'm moving so slow now that I'm at regular speed. That is the color art snapdragon to like a purpley blue and the ginger peach and the jasmine I don't even think any of that ginger peach even came out and then this really pretty plum color I forget what it's called shoot and then the teal and the yellow yeah And then the white cell activator, which is the Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam white, titanium white, giving it a blow. Looking good so far. One more. Am I going to go for broke another one? Oh. <laughs> So, just to tell you guys, I had a few glasses of wine when I was doing this. So, I, in the morning, um, when I saw it, I was like, yay, I didn't screw it up too much. <laughs> so, I'm putting a little bit of squigglies in it um, because I know that the center is going to open up. And um, I just wanted it to have some kind of nice, nice lines in there. That makes some sense and I'm learning the more I do the squigglies on bigger canvases where they blow out um, you want to kind of keep your circles kind of small because then they'll wind up being that much bigger unless you want really big circles um, so keep in mind whenever circle that you're making 
it's going to be three times the size or two or three times the size. You know what I mean. All right, let's go for the spin. Wow. Boom. Love it. Yeah, really happy with that. Um, I wasn't really good about doing a close-up, but I'm going to show you the final result resin at the end. Okay, hi everyone. So this thing dried so fast. It dried because I made this uh, last night. It was probably like one in the morning when I was painting this. And by the time I got out of bed eight hours later, it was completely dry. So I think the reason is because it's a wood board and I've noticed anytime I paint on wood that it just like sucks the moisture out of the paint and it actually makes it dry too fast. And um, there's barely noticeable, but there's a crack right there, okay? Because when paint dries too fast, it can crack. So I don't think that this piece is ruined because of, you know, that little crack and then what other crack is noticeable? There's kind of one right there. Let's get in, zo let's zoom it in. Okay, so this is the big one. And then there's a right there. And if you wanna get nitpicky. Okay, but all in all, this isn't been, obviously I'm gonna resin it and it's gonna be, you know, really cool looking then. And um, I'm definitely gonna put resin on it. But for the next one, I'm gonna try to try to avoid this problem I'm going to put kills on it first and then do the paint pour over that because maybe that'll create a barrier that uh, will help with this issue. So yeah, really happy with this little midnight session I decided to have last night. I was like, I want to paint and you know, I had a couple of drinks in me so I didn't screw it up too bad. <laughs> All right. I'll show you guys the resin piece when it's done and uh, bye for now. So here it is done um, with resin on it. And I know this circle light is just annoying, but it's a necessary measure. Um, I wanted to point out to you guys the spots that were cracked that I was really PO'd about. So what I did, there it is right there. There's one spot right there, one of a few. And you know, the little bit of crap, I filled it in with a little white paint, made it less noticeable. Um, and when you look at it like this, it's not that noticeable. It's fine. It's still very, very pretty. My kids didn't see it when I was like, do you notice anything wrong with it? And they were looking at it and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. So, you know, again, me being nitpicky, but um, I'm happy enough with this to want to obviously resin it and possibly, if I can figure out a way, turn it into a clock, okay? Because it is just so, so very pretty, isn't it? So pretty. And um, testing out a new pillow paint that I'm... I don't know what the culprit is, but I am going to get down to it and figure out <laughs> why I'm getting cracks. Ah, if it is the, the wood, is it something else? So, um, already in the works with some, uh, other testing. And so thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends, share, and like my video if you do. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.